Good series. Welcome to this chair yoga class. Find a sturdy chair and we'll get started. Okay, sitting up nice and tall in seated mountain pose. Take a nice deep breath and exhale down through the legs and up through the top of the head. Let's roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Close the eyes or look down, cast. Become aware of the breath moving in your body. And as we breathe deeply, we're massaging our muscles from the inside, getting those smaller muscles moving. And we're gonna do a little taffy pull here. So we're going to just inhale, stretch out, exhale, come back. With each breath, we might pull that taffy a little more as it's warmed up. Inhaling, expanding. Exhaling, coming back in. You can let your peripheral vision get involved, noticing the hands expanding and how far as you look softly forward, can you still see your hands? Warming up from the inside, stretching out more and more with each repetition. And one more big stretch out. And back to center. Let's tap you pull vertical. Getting bigger with each repetition. One more maximum stretch. And back to center. We'll do the other side, starting small. Opening up with the breath, inhaling and stretching. One more maximum, big stretch. And back to center. And we'll turn that into a little spinal twist. Perhaps twisting a little more with each inhale. One more here, big stretch and back to center. And other way. One more. Big stretch and back to center. Feel the body warming up from the inside. And we'll do some painting the walls and letting the head go with the hands. So the chin comes down, chin and eyes go up, eyes following the hands. Then you can warm up and stretch more and more. And 
And let's flick that water off our fingers. And grab some air. And circle. And circle back the other way. And draw some circles from your elbows. Circle back the other way, drawing some circles here. Bend your arms out, we'll do some circles here, like we've got two doorknobs. Feel those shoulder blades sliding down the back and broadening the chest. And give yourself a hug. And then we'll sit up tall and go for a little easy spinal twist. And back to center in an easy spinal twist. Letting the head go all the way around. I remember which arm was on top. Inhale, stretch out. And spinal twist the other way. And the head take a bigger twist than the shoulders. And bring the arms out square and twist in here. And bring those elbows back, twisting a little more. And putting the other arm on top. It's weird to figure it out, right? And back to center and down. Let's scoot forward on our chair for some cat and dog. We're going to round the back, reaching the middle of the back towards the back of the chair. So it's not a forward fold. It's not just the upper body. Rocking forward on the sitting bones and lifting the chest. Exhale, rounding the back. Rocking forward. Inhale, tall. Let's do some easy circling. Nice straight spine. We're opening up the hips here in a nice easy way. In this variation, we're just having a straight spine and just circling around the tailbone. We'll do a different variation later. And let's go the other way. And back to stillness. 
let's bring our heels out and toes. And if you need to just do one foot rather than both, go right ahead. Or if you want to put your feet on the floor and do it on the floor, you can just rock back and forth on your heels and your toes. This gives you a little abdominal work as well. And then we'll circle the ankles. You can also be holding onto the chair if that's better for you. And circle the other way. And rest for a moment. Bring your hands to the chair this time to help. Bring those legs up again and we'll windshield wiper. Again, if you need to do it on the floor, then you'll do windshield wiper knees instead. And let's do a little kick. and some ballet here across it. And if you need to do it on the floor, you just bring your feet out and in. And down, take a breath, feel the energy moving. Let's step the legs out a little bit, holding onto the chair, we'll do some Nice hip openers here. And then back to center, bring the legs back in. You can use the chair again to hold on if you like. We're gonna slide one leg out with the toes pointed forward. Maybe you need to scoot over and get that butt a little bit off the chair. We're gonna come into gate pose. We're gonna slide down this leg. If you don't need to hold on to the chair, this arm can come up or over. You can put it on your shoulder or your chest or your hip, whatever works for your shoulder here. Lovely side stretch into gate pose. Spinning your ribcage towards the sky and looking up if that works for your body. Inhale, bring that foot back in, scoot over to the other way. So that you're a little bit off the chair here, so that you can slide your leg forward and not cut yourself in the crotch. <laughs> and slide down the leg, up and over. And inhale and bring that knee back in. Scooting those legs out again. We're going to, no, not yet, I'm sorry. We're going to turn around on our chair, my mistake. And then again, we're gonna scoot over so that this butt cheek is a little bit off so that we can point that knee down. <clears throat> now, if you have really tight legs, the knee is gonna be forward, but we're hoping to open up the front of the leg enough that you can be at least vertical. Looking forward. Back of the toes are on the floor. Feeling a nice stretch in the front of your thigh. You bring this arm into goddess. If you feel safe, both arms can come into goddess. If you feel really confident, you can stretch that back leg and come up off your chair. Or you could be holding on and come up off the chair. It gives you a really nice stretch there. Hold on to the chair. And kind of sit down, bring that leg in, shake them out, walk around to the other side. Holding onto the chair, scooting off just enough that you can bring that leg forward. And again, if you're tight, the leg's gonna look like that. If you can, the leg is vertical at the very least, so you're getting a nice stretch in the front of your thigh. 
bringing one arm up into goddess that helps strengthen your back muscles and lengthen your spine looking forward if you can the other arm comes up into goddess if you need to hold on please do and if you're feeling really confident pressing into your feet and coming up off the chair or again you can be holding on and coming up off the chair And come on back down, bring that leg in, let's shake the legs out. And come on back to center. I'll do a little windshield wipe with it. Okay, let's do some sit to stands. Seven today. So if you're not standing, you're holding onto the chair, pressing into the feet, and just squeezing the buttocks muscles and maybe lifting up a little bit like that. Otherwise, cross arms or bring arms out in front. Check your parallel legs. Feet and legs are parallel. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, sit down. We'll do seven. So that was one, two. We're pressing into the inner and outer heel, the ball of the big toe. Three, arches are lifted. Four. Five, six, and seven. And let's march it out as we come around. You can come behind your chair so you can hold on with two hands. I'll stand next to my chair so you can see what I'm doing. So we wanted to do some hip openers. So we're going to swing that leg forward and back. Make sure there's nothing behind you or in front of you. There's plenty of room. Find your drishti. Open that leg up. Lower belly is lifted, spine is nice and long. And rest. I'm gonna bring that leg up. If you can hold it, that's great. If you can't do it, you'll do it on the floor. Okay, let's start here with toe on the floor. So opening that knee in and out. If that's too easy, you can hold onto the knee here and open it in and out this way. Try not to collapse into your hand. You can use it for balance and support, but also your standing leg, right? You want to use that for balance. And down. Woo. Let's do a little hip shimmy to release any tension in there. We're gonna do one more. So again, the floor variation, we're drawing big circles on the floor. The air variation, we're holding onto the knee and drawing big circles with the knee. You choose which variation you wanna do. And then back the other way, big circles. Back the other way on the floor. Four big circles back the other way in the air. So if you're in the air, you're giving yourself some balance, strengthening your standing leg, and even getting a little abdominal lift, as well as opening the hips. And let's ski it out. Ooh. I'm going to go around to the other side. We'll do the other leg. Move the other chair just a bit so I don't hit the furniture. Okay, so we're going to start with the leg swings, finding Tadasana, finding your Drishti. Now we're just swing that leg forward and back, drawing the belly in for support. One more. Long rest. 
My next one. I'm going to put the toe on the floor and open that knee in and out. And if you want more challenge, we're going to hold the knee and open it in and out here. And down. Ooh. Wiggle it out. And the next one is circles, so we'll draw circles on the floor. And you can stay with that or bring your knee up and draw circles in the air. And then we'll draw circles in the opposite direction. Stay with that or circle in the air. I'm sorry, I'm not that just And down and ski jump it out. And then come back. And let the body equalize. I'm going to step the feet a little wider. I want to just do some hip circles. And we'll circle the other way. And come back to Tadasana. And we're going to do a little um, series with some twisting. So step your feet a little wider. And we're going to blow some chi. So we're going to open our hand and blow as if we're blowing some milkweed off our hand. So a little bit of a twist here, a little bit of stretch in the front of the thigh. And blowing away whatever we no longer need. A little bit of a spinal twist. A little bit of a hip opener, a little bit of a leg stretch, a little energetic work, a little arm stretch. It's a nice all around, gentle, wonderful little flow here. That nice rocking rhythm, very calming and soothing. And last one. And come back to Tadasana. So we just blew away what we didn't need. Now we're going to gather what we do need. So again, we do a little spinal twist, cupping the arm, reaching back, reaching up, following with the head and the hands. We're going to draw that down the midline and just rest the hand below your navel. Scoot back, gather bringing all good things into your life. Letting that hand rest. One more set. And 
And just take that in. So you could be behind your chair holding on. We're going to step out nice and wide and then turn the toes out slightly for goddess pose. Going to press those knees back. Bring one arm up if you don't need to hold on to the chair. Bring the other arm up if you don't need to hold on to the chair. Imagine I'm pressing into your hands and press back, really engage in the arms and the legs. And if you don't need to have your heels on the floor, you can come up into your toes. Bring the thumb and forefinger together if you like, three fingers extended. And let's reach out, bring the feet to parallel, and toe heel, toe heel back to Tadasana. Standing behind your chair, I'm going to stand sideways. We'll do a standing lunge. So taking a nice deep breath, let's send the left leg back. The front right knee is bent, we're pressing into the heel. Inhale, straighten that back leg, lift the heel. Exhale, bend the front knee, press the heel down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, straighten. Front leg, exhale, press the back heel into the foot. One of my favorite poses. Do a lovely stretch in the front of the leg and the back of the calf. And let's walk it out. And send the other leg back. Bending the front knee as you press your heel into the floor. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, reach. Two more. And let's march it out. Turn to face the seat of your chair. And we'll do some cat and dog here. Let's lift the tailbone, lift the head. And then round. If you can't reach the seat of your chair, you can be standing behind the chair with your hands on the back. You bend your knees as you come into dog tilt. And you can straighten your legs as you come into cat stretch. And then we'll come to stillness and slowly come on back up. When standing next to the chair, we'll give you two options here. So you're holding onto the back of the chair, you can bring your leg out to the side, balancing here with the toe on the floor, or lifting the foot up. Bring that foot back down. You can do a second set of that, or if you're more flexible, you're gonna bring your hand to the chair. You're gonna bring this leg out and balance here. Feet are facing forward, knees and toes facing forward. Nice big stretch in all directions. And come on back down. And come on back up to Tadasana. You're facing your chair. I'm going to move my chair to the other side. You can just bring your other hand down to the chair so you're standing next to your chair. And again, you can have your hand on the back of the chair. Stand up tall. 
Slide your leg out with the toes pointed forward, either balance here or pick your toes up off the floor. Knees and toes facing forward, balancing here. Put that foot down. You can do a second set of that. We'll bring your hand to the chair and bring that leg up. So your shoulders over your hands, your hips over your foot and come into a balancing pose here. Again, the toes are facing forward, the knees are facing forward. Nice big stretch, nice big balance. And come on back down, slowly come up. Back to Tadasana and watch yourself down back onto your chair. Take a few breaths here. Let the body settle. And scooting forward once again, let's widen those legs. We'll take a nice deep breath and we'll do some cat and dog here. back to stillness. We're going to press one shoulder forward and lean with a straight back. Head is in line with the spine. So the head's not moving. It's just following along. We're not tucking the chin and looking down. Pressing the shoulder forward. Inhaling back up. Draw the belly in for support. Long spine. Come back to center. One more time here. And come on back up. Take a breath. Compare the two sides. Go the other way, bringing the shoulder forward and lengthening over the leg and coming back to center. Inhale forward, lengthen over the leg. And come on back. And back to center. And one more time. And back to center. We're going to put all of those together with a straight back coming forward. We're going to press the shoulder forward, and then round back, dog to uh, cat pose. Bring the shoulder forward, and then lifting the chest, but coming forward with a long spine here. Shoulder forward, rounding back. Shoulder forward, leading with the heart, big stretch. Shoulder forward, rounding back. Shoulder forward, lean forward, shoulder forward, round back. One more circle here. And we'll come back to stillness for a moment. And then we'll go the other way. Shoulder forward, long spine, chest lifted, shoulder forward, rounding back, rocking back on your sitting bones. Press that shoulder forward, reach forward with your chest, roll around, roll back. One more. And come back to center. And toe heel, toe heel back. And scoot back on your chair for a minute. Let all that circling stop.
We're going to bring our hands out. We're going to open and close, just giving our legs a rest for a little bit, coming back to our upper body. So we're holding two trays, bringing the hands in and squeezing the shoulder blades, lengthening the spine, supporting the back. Then my legs and hips are really tingling, so they need a break. And the upper body in for a little bit. And then we'll hold on to the chair with one hand. We'll bring the other arm up and over and we'll give ourselves a little side tip. Inhale back to center and up and over. And down, let's do the other side, holding on. Got his arm and then reaching over and back to center and reaching over and down and rest and take that in. Okay, figure four. Again, scoot forward on our chair. So, the first variation from seated mountain pose, you'll take your left ankle, cross it over your right knee, and float that knee away. And we'll just bounce that leg. Uncross for a second, straighten your other leg, cross your ankle, and then start to slide that ankle up as high as you can get it, maybe right below the, the knee on the shin, and we'll bounce the leg there. So remember, we're working our way up, so you stop at whatever level is right for you. Okay, we'll uncross there, we'll bring that foot back, and we'll bring the ankle over the knee, and we'll bounce it here. Now, whatever level we are at, take a deep breath in and come forward slowly with a straight back till you start to feel that. Probably can't go very far. Inhale back one more level if you're capable, flexing the feet, grabbing the knee and bringing that leg up and rocking the baby. It's a pretty advanced pose, but I thought I'd offer it today, just in case. Pressing out through the ball of the foot, the foot is nice and square. Ah, let's put that leg down and we'll do a little shake out. And come to stillness, compare the two legs. Okay, other side, we're crossing the ankles and just bouncing that knee. And back to stillness. We're stretching the leg out, crossing the ankles and sliding that leg up as high as you can, maybe right below your knee and bouncing here. You pick the level of challenge that's right for you. And cross last variation. Well, not today. Picking that foot up, crossing the ankle over the knee, bouncing here. Inhale tall, draw the belly in, come forward with a straight spine from whatever variation you're doing. Try and get that knee down and open the inner thigh. Also probably feel a stretch in the outside of the hip. Inhale back up and for those who can do one more level, with our foot is flexed, putting out through the ball of the foot and a little bit of rocking the baby here. You're bouncing the knee if you can't do this. Okay, and down, and again, a little windshield wiper working your way. All right, last one. We're gonna do some spinal twists. Let's bring the legs together, sit up tall. Bring the hand across, twist around.
Inhale back to center. Stretch up tall and twist the other way. And back to center. You can do a second set of that or walk yourself around on your chair and drop that knee. Again, if you can get it vertical, all the better. Open the front of the thigh. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall. Turn towards the back of your chair and twist. And inhale back to center. Take a breath here. And then if you're doing this variation, we'll bring that other knee down. Again, trying to go for vertical, but if you can, if you're like this, it's what you are. So you honor yourself where you are. Inhale tall, turn towards the back of the chair and twist. Inhale, untwist. Toe heel, toe heel, back to center. Close your eyes or look down cast. Allow your body to absorb what we've done so far today, or what we've done today.
You can stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, slowly come back into the room, wiggle your fingers and toes, move and stretch in whatever way feels good to you. Thank you so much for coming. Namaste.